Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a proof of a theorem from circle geometry. So we have the theorem, arcs formed by parallel chords are congruent. So in this diagram here, I went ahead and prepared this diagram to get a visual of what this theorem is actually asking us to prove. So we have two parallel chords, A, B, and C, D, and we're trying to show that if these two chords are parallel, then the arcs intercepted by these chords are congruent. So we could start this proof by assuming that we have parallel chords on some circle. So we'll say let line segment AB and line segment CD be chords on circle O. So this first line just introduces the diagram into our proof. But now we need to assume we need to assume that segment AB is parallel to segment CD. And now we could assume this because the theorem states arcs formed by parallel chords are congruent. So we could assume that the chords are parallel. But now what does this allow us to say? Well the next thing we want to do is construct line segment CB. So we're going to construct line segment CB. And now when we draw this in on our diagram, we'll see the purpose of constructing this line segment. Notice that this newly constructed line segment is a transversal cutting across two parallel lines. So by the alternate interior angles theorem, we could say that angle ABC is congruent to angle DCB. So that was the purpose of constructing this new line segment here. So for the next line, we could say angle ABC is congruent to angle DCB. And now this is true by the alternate interior angles theorem. And now the way this theorem is being applied, just to emphasize, we have our parallel lines, our A, B, and C, D, and our transversal is line C, B. I always look for that Z shape, and then the two angles inside of that Z are the alternate interior angles, and they're congruent. So now we could go to the next stage of this proof, and we could state that the measure of arc AC is equal to twice the measure of angle ABC. And we could also say the measure of arc BD is equal to twice the measure of angle DCB. And now this is true by properties of inscribed angles. And now just, we'll use the diagram again to confirm this. But notice how angle ABC is an inscribed angle intercepting arc AC. And by the inscribed angles theorem, we know that the measure of angle ABC is equal to one half the measure of arc AC. So another way to say that would be to say that the measure of arc AC is equal to twice the measure of inscribed angle ABC. And by a similar argument, we could say the same thing for the measure of arc BD being twice the measure of angle DCB. So now, at this stage of the proof, we could just go ahead now and say that arc AC is congruent to arc BD. And this is true by the multiplication postulate. And now just to recall, the multiplication postulate says if equal quantities
are multiplied by equal quantities the products are equal and now we're just going to take a look at why we're using this postulate to finish this proof well we're saying if equal quantities which we have angle ABC and angle DCB we showed before that those angles are congruent so those are our first equal quantities are multiplied so we have equal quantities are multiplied by equal quantities well notice how they're both being multiplied by 2 and 2 is equal to itself so we have equal quantities being multiplied by equal quantities there and the follow-up of this we have the products are equal so this tells us we have two equal quantities being multiplied by two equal quantities therefore the products arc AC and arc BD are equal so this is sufficient enough to conclude our proof So we'll put a little symbol here to say that we proved the theorem which was to be proved okay well this is going to conclude this video on proving a theorem from circle geometry thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful